much. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I have no clue what time it is right now, but it's a pleasure to be back here at uh, <laughs> Alan L. Publishing, my favorite company in the world. Anyway, um, first of all, i got to be honest with you. Louis Falanga is paying me big, big bucks to be here tonight. And quite frankly, he's paying me so much money, I don't have that good of an act. So I feel a little guilty. But I came up with an idea. I'm going to do a trick. I've never done this trick. I take it back. I did it one other time, and it didn't work. But I'm going to try the trick tonight. If the trick doesn't work, I will do the whole show for free. And I really mean that. You, Lewis, you can keep the 50 bucks. I'll give you that. <laughs> Whatever. So here's what we're going to do. Can everyone see the yellow envelope? Everyone say yes. Wow, what a crowd. Okay. In this envelope is a picture of a famous celebrity. In just a moment, I will let one person, could be you, sir. Uh-oh. Nah. But I will let one person in the audience name a famous celebrity. If that person's picture is not in the envelope, the whole show is free. And I really mean that. Hi. Hi. You want me, don't you? <laughs> Set it up. Okay, let's see. Let's try. What is, what is your name, the woman in the blue? Uh, Sherry. Oh, you took me by surprise. Most beautiful women don't even answer me back. <laughs> this is great. You know, when I was young, I used to be afraid of beautiful women. But then I realized they're just as afraid of me. <laughs> okay, so, so, Sherry, I... Sherry, I'm going to try you. I don't mean I'm going to try you. I mean, I'm gonna... Sherry, what I want you to do, on the count of three, I want you to name any celebrity. If that person's picture is not in here, the whole show is free. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Uh, John Wayne. <laughs> John Wayne. Thanks, lady. Okay, oh, that's it. Laugh at Mr. Magic. Go ahead. You guys are laughing, but you won't be laughing now, because, ladies and gentlemen, in the envelope is a picture of John Wayne when he was a baby. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. No, 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 please. No, don't applaud. It's not funny. I did the trick two weeks ago. The guy said Tiger Woods. <laughs> I was ready tonight. I had it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Bill Malone. Bill Malone. Okay, no, no, no. I understand you guys feel a little cheated. I understand. Sherry, you feel cheated. If I could prove to you that that really was John Wayne's picture, would that be a pretty good trick? Absolutely. It'd be a great trick, but I don't do that trick. But I wasn't able to get his picture, but I did happen to get his autograph. Oh, John Wayne. That's it. Give Siri a big round of applause. Thank you. Yes! Bill Mom Wow, that was fun. How'd you see that? Like cute little babies and stuff. I love babies. It's so cute. Yeah. You gotta be careful with babies though. You know, they're, they're cute though. Anyway, um, we're gonna try, let's start off with a card trick. Do you like card tricks? Okay, if you do, I don't, but if you do, we'll give this a shot. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with a, uh, with just a little card trick. Okay, so um, let's see, let's get started. What is your name, sir? Frank. No, Frank, what's your real name? You can say it. <laughs> is it really Frank? That's a cool name. Frank, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to riffle through the cards like this. Anytime you want, I just want you to call out stop, okay? Stop. Okay, can you see that card, Frank? Yes, sir. I'm going to try to show it to everyone in the audience. I'll show it to you, and I don't want to miss you. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> okay, everyone, please remember the card. Here's what I'm going to do, okay, Frank? I'm going to try to find your card, but... I need a little bit of help from you, okay? First of all, I'm going to ask you one question, and I want you to be honest with me. Okay, okay you ready? Okay, I can't do it. I, can't do it. <laughs> I was just going to trick him. I was going to say to him, what was your card? And then I was going to find the card, the whole audience would have went wild. You would have been, like, all over me. But, <laughs> but instead, I feel bad. So, so Frank, I'm not going to do that. Instead, let me ask you, just give me a hint. Was your card a big card, like a king, or was it a little card, like a two? A little card. A small card. Yes. Okay, see, these are regulation size. These here, these are a little smaller. These are a little smaller. These are the small ones. You said it was small, so that should be. Oh! Yes! Bill Malone! Bill Malone! Little baby. I love little baby. Okay, all right. Um, and I want you to get in close because this is kind of a secret. I don't like to say it. I don't want the people at home to hear this, but get, get a little closer. A little closer. <laughs> okay, see, I have a confession. I think that I cheat at cards. Every time I get in a card game, I always get the four aces. 
really, so I think I cheat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give the cards a little shuffle like this. We'll mix them up just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when I play cards, okay? I'm going to spread out the cards. Watch this close. There's no breaks or anything in the deck. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give the cards a cut right about here. And if I'm right, I did. See, I got an ace. This happens all the time. I don't know what it is. It scares me. Sir, wake up, okay? Because this is a, this is a video show. You're supposed to be watching me. All right. Now think about that. Now I could have got lucky, okay? If I would have been just one card off, I would have missed that, okay? So this, this is not easy. I'll try it again, okay? Watch this close. Do me a favor, um, just to make this a little harder this time, to study my nerves, would you kind of hold my hand just because? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it again. All we do, cut right about here, and there's the second. Thank you. If you're going to applaud, make it look like a crowd in here, please. Okay? All right, I'll tell you what, I'll even mix them up and I'll try it. I'll try it again. I'll try it a little harder. I want you to look at the cards. There's no bends or anything like that in there. Can you see there's no steps or anything? Yet, anytime I want, I can reach down. This is the part that gets me. Every time I cut, I cut right to an ace. Now, no, no, no. Please don't applaud. I think I'm cheating. I'm not sure. I could just be getting lucky. If you know what I mean. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll try the last one the hard way. I'm going to show you the cards. You can see the last ace is still somewhere in the deck, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the cards a little shuffle. And not only am I going to try to cut to the last ace, but I will tell you exactly where that ace is, okay? Let's see. You look like you're about, I'd say, guess 20 years old. So I'm going to go on the record saying the last ace is exactly 20 cards from the top. Watch this. I will cut exactly 20. Better yet, you count. Take the cards, count down to the 20th card out loud, one at a time. One, one two, two, three. Wow, that's four. good. Five, <laughs> he knows the words. Eight, eight, nine, nine, 10, 11, 11 12, 12, 13, 13 14, 14, 15, 15 16, 16, 17, 16, 17, 18, 16, 17, 18, 19. 18, 19. Turn it over. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Bill Long Low! Bill Long Low! Oh, you guys, knock it off, you knuckleheads. Cut it out. You guys kill me. Excuse me one minute. Hold out. <laughs> God, I don't, feel it. don't laugh at me. If you're going to laugh, I'm not going to do the tricks. So let's see. Let's say, stop it. I said don't laugh at me, pal. I'll knock you right off that chair, buddy. I know Mexican judo. Oh. Did you hear that? You don't know if I have a knife. You don't know if I have a gun. You don't know, you don't know what I'm at. Anyway. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's try something. Your name was Frank, right? I know yes. that because you had a chair reserved for you. That's, that's right. Frank, I'm going to stand up for this trick. I'm going to give you a little observation test. I want you to uh, make sure you watch these cards as close as you can, okay? Because right. I'm going to quiz you on this. There's going to be a quiz later. First of all, we have two, uh, four aces. Two are black, two are red. Right. Correct? Right. Oh, good. I picked the right guy. You're yeah. really you're on this thing, yeah. okay? <laughs> so here's what we're going to do, Frank. We're going to take the two black aces, the spade and the club, and we'll put them in the middle of the deck like this, okay? And I'll show them to you in the middle. Okay, and would you right. just repeat that for me? Black or in the middle? Black or in the middle. Awesome. Okay, right. a red one goes on the top and a red one on the bottom. Okay. Now, I know that was a lot to remember. Okay. So let me just show everybody one more time. We have red on the bottom, two black in the middle, and red on the top. Can you see it? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quiz you now. Can you tell me for sure what's on the top, what's on the bottom? Yes. What are they? One's red and one's red. One's oh, very good. That's because you're looking at them. But look, if I turn the cards over like this and riffle, now the black is on the bottom, the red are in the middle, and the black is on the top. No, no, no. No, no, no. That may have been... No, no, no. Please, stop. Stop it. That was my fault. See, I thought just like you that maybe the red was on the bottom, the two black ones are in the middle, and again, the red one is on the top. Now, let's take this to extremes. Let's get rid of the aces this time completely. All I do is riffle, and the aces completely vanish. They're not on the bottom. They're not in the middle. This time, the four aces have completely lost themselves in the pack. Now comes the hard part to get them back. Watch this as close as you can. Can everyone see the six there? Watch that six. All I do is this, and you get an ace. That's the first ace. So please, folks, settle down. It's just a card trick, okay? Settle down. All right. The second ace, you give a rub like this. There's the second one. Here's ace number three. And if I take the cards and just give a rub, that's ace number four. All four aces back again. But I know what you're thinking. They really didn't disappear. So this time, we'll make them go for good. So again, they're not on the top. They're not in the middle. This time, they have left the deck entirely. The aces are completely 
completely gone. They're not on the top. They're not on the bottom. The aces this time really are completely gone. If you want to get them back, all you have to do is say the magic words, I love Louis Falanga. When you say that, the first ace goes... I'm sorry, maybe I don't love Louis Falanga. <laughs> the first ace has gone over here to this pocket. That's ace number one. That's the ace of club. The second ace, I just reach up here, and we get the second ace. That's the ace of spade. Third ace comes out like this. And the last ace... Sorry, do you have it? <laughs> here it is. There's the last day. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes, Bill Malone. Bill Malone. Okay. Let's see. Um, what I'm going to do next? Oh boy. This, I'm sorry. This is not going. Now look what I did. I just shuffled the spots off these things. Can you believe it? Look. There's nothing but backs. There's backs here, backs here, backs on this side. Even if I turn over the cards, there's backs here. Everywhere you look, there's just backs, okay? If you want to find a face, you just give the cards a cut. And I'm sorry, there's backs there. There's backs on this side. Backs on this side. Here a back, there a back. Everywhere a back, back. If you want to find, want to find a face, you just look through the pack. You know what you find? More backs. <laughs> yeah, we got trouble here. Backs on this side, backs on that side. There is one way to find the face. All you have to do is take the cards like this, and if you give them just a little rub like this, now you can find all the faces just like that. Okay? But now we got, no, 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 now we got another problem. See, we have faces here, and we have faces here. Faces on this side, faces on that side. Thanks, thanks, lady. Keep it going, okay? Faces here, faces on this side, faces on this side. This is not working. Tell you what, to find a back, I just looked through, you get more faces. Faces here, faces here. I can keep going, but Lewis is not paying me that much. So let's just wrap this thing up. We'll take the cards like this. If you want to make it into a regular deck, all you do is wave your hand like this, and all the cards change back. <laughs> And now, and now we will do a card trick, okay? Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, all right. Here we go. Let's try a little trick. Do me a favor. What is your name, sir? RJ. Are you having a good time? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll put a stop to that right now. <laughs> RJ, do me a favor. As I riffle the pack like this, just say stop. Stop. Okay, I'd like you to remember that card. Could somebody just, I'll, I'll show it to you. You don't mind. I won't cheat. Everyone, please remember the card, okay? And they're not marked or scratched or anything. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, my fault. We'll start again. Just say stop. Okay, we'll use this one. That's a better one. Okay, everyone please remember that card, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to lose it in the deck, and now I'm going to do something kind of strange. I'm going to take half the deck face up and shuffle it with the other half, which is face down. So now half the cards are going down, half the cards are going up. All I do is push them together, snap the fingers, they all straighten out, except oh. for one. Oh. Yes! I think what I'll do right now is I will give up on the magic. Um, I've never been that good at this anyway. I'm going to quit. I'm going to retire. I'm going to go into poetry. So I'm going to tell all of you a little poem. Let me, excuse me, I'm going to get my next trick. Hi, how are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? Good. Wow, is that your daughter? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. You know what I hate? When you wake up in the morning, you don't know the girl's name, you don't know where she's from, you don't know how she died. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's a round of those. <laughs> anyway, this is a serious part of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a little poem done with three cups. Ladies and gentlemen, rub-a-dub-dub, three men in three tubs when sailing out to sea. The first in tub number one, the second in tub number two, and the third in tub number three. Now this tub was old, but the captain was bold. He was also raring to go. So he jumped on the deck, fell through the wreck, and ended up down here below. Now the second old goat got on the same boat, then things started to happen. He tripped on a pole, fell through the hole, landing on top of the captain. <laughs> uh, is this cool? <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. No, but I'll make it up. Huh? Now it was easy to see that man number three was puzzled beyond comprehension, so what did he do? He too fell through, and what he said we can't mention. Now, man number one was feeling quite glum, but a clever idea had he. The plan that had got him was to go through the bottom, but he landed in tub number three. So he looked at the mast, decided at last to try to go over the top. Things went well till he let out a yell, then he fell through with a plop. And so with a sigh, he decided to try his luck in tub number one. Just as before, he fell to the floor, right back where he started from. 
Are you liking any of this? Huh? <laughs> and so for fun, he stayed in tub one, the second in tub number two. The third jumped with glee into tub number three, and then they all fell through. Oh. Well, embarrassed again, these three old men, they hid themselves from view. When number one stole away before the end of the day, as did man number two. Now, it didn't take long, for something seemed wrong, it was as if he never departed. So he left once more, confused as before, when number one ended up where he'd started. And so, like his friend, he journeyed again, not knowing what he might find. But these two old tars didn't get very far, they couldn't leave the third behind. <laughs> so, the three thought at least they'd travel southeast. For a change of luck, they were hoping. Rub-a-dub-dub, they found jobs that they loved, pro-golfing, at the U.S. Open. And that's my story. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Here I